You've got the degree. You got a decent job out of college, and so far you're on the path that everyone told you was going to make you successful. And yet, here you are. You don't feel as if you're successful, and so in this video, I'm going to break down the simple actions that you can take on a daily basis to make sure that you get out of your rut that you're in and instead move towards a successful life by rewiring and really and truly unfucking your brain. The first action that you need to take is join a gym. Okay, if you have not joined a gym yet and you were in college and maybe you worked out a bit and now you're out, you need to join a gym. See, what this is going to do is it's going to allow you, one, to have things that you are going to do outside of your job, right? So going to the gym knows that you are focusing on yourself. When you go to that area, when you go to that place, you are really and truly investing in yourself and in your future. But see, not only that, you're also going to have social interactions outside of your workplace, outside of your job, where you can meet new friends, you can really and truly just live your life for yourself instead of working this ladder so you can make your boss happy or make your coworkers happy. Like, this is for you. The second action is going to be meal prepping with protein as your basis. And why do I say meal prepping? Well, meal prepping specifically is going to allow you to have conveniency of your food, the same conveniency that you find in fast food, but instead gives you the fuel that you need to fuel your body the way that it needs to go so you can operate successfully. When you're constantly bogging your body down with carbs and fats and all of these things that you find in this modern day fast food selection, you are going to be draining your body of energy that it needs to function properly. See, when you digest that food, it takes energy. And that energy that comes from your body is just being used to digest food when you could be eating clean, whole foods with focusing on proteins. You can optimize your testosterone levels, which will then give you the ability to go out, make riskier decisions, use that energy outside of your body instead of only sticking it in here and using everything to just digest foods. The third action is going to be reading more books. And I'm like specifically talking about like hardcover reading, taking a detox from your phone, from social media, all of this stuff where we get in bed and we just start scrolling, right? And what happens is it's like a car going down the highway 60 miles an hour and then all of a sudden seeing a parking spot and trying to stop, right? You need rest. You need sleep to recover your body, to recover yourself so you can be fully optimized, your brain, your body, everything be in conjunction, function properly. If you are trying like that car to park in a parking spot going 60 miles an hour, you're not going to work. Instead, swap that with reading a book. So you can slowly pull into that parking spot, go to sleep and recover, right? When you're reading, you're getting rid of blue light. You're making sure that you are slowly getting your body, winding it down for that sleep process so you can recover. Plus, you're going to be getting knowledge from that book itself that's going to allow you to grow and prosper in a way which most people do not do anyways because they stop learning when they get out of college. The fifth simple action for you to take is going to be trying something new, doing something different in your life, spicing it up a bit. For me, I started cold showers a few months ago and it revolutionized my life. Just do something, right? Maybe it's um, joining a boxing gym, going in uh, for a run every once in a while, just doing something like trying more and honestly failing more because the more you fail, the more you understand what you actually want in your life. Plus, you can start new businesses. You can just do so many different things if you start doing something new every day. If you go through the same repetition, same routine, your life is going to get bland, it's going to get boring. So doing something new on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, is just gonna spice your life up a bit. The sixth simple action is gonna be going sober. And when I say simple, I literally mean like, it's as easy as cutting out drinking. Okay, go on a detox from alcohol for yes, 30 days. What this is gonna do is it's going to rid you of those toxins that you are putting in your body from external sources that are taking all of your energy. We talked about it with meal prepping, but it comes too with as drinks. And what you'll realize is after 30 days, you don't actually need alcohol. You do not need alcohol to socialize. You don't need it to go out with friends. You don't need it to um, work in society. Instead, being sober will allow you to be so much more productive and allow you to fully optimize your body and your health so that you can ultimately become successful. The seventh action that you need to take is being more social. And yes, with alcohol, you May, that may be something to go socialize, but now we're getting rid of that, right? 30 days, we're not doing that, which means you need to get active, get out of your house, get out of your apartment, wherever you may be staying, go out. 
right? Go meet new people. Put yourself in uncomfortable situations by going and exploring this world. See, God has given us so many opportunities where we can go meet new people, whether it be uh, at your gym, whether it be in a running club, in a real estate club, in church, wherever you want to go, just go socialize with more people. And really and truly what I found the best way to do this is just saying yes. Say yes to more people, more things, more opportunities, and that's gonna open up doors for new things and really just being yourself. Don't try to fit in with anybody. If you're going to church, don't try to uh, like act like you've been with God for all of this time. Like just be real because ultimately if you try to fit in and you mold to other people, then you are going to end up regretting it and honestly not liking yourself. In that, the eighth simple action that you need to be taking is feeling gratitude. See, you are blessed. You have the opportunity to live this life. In 2024 right now, we have so many things that we can do, right? So many opportunities, and you really are blessed to be in this time to live in your present moment. And feeling that gratitude on a daily basis is going to help you get in that positive mind because you are getting these things. And one of the ways that I practice this every Every single day is gratitude journaling. I write every day what I'm thankful for and it's not the same thing over and over and over again. No, I actually feel that gratitude and I write those emotions down because that really truly sets me in a mindset in which I am happy to start the day. The ninth simple action that you need to be taking is making amends with friends or family members that you may not be on the same page with. See, what I recommend is going in and making a list of all of the friends, all of the acquaintances that you may have had, right? Maybe it's a list of 150 people. Go in your contact list and just see like, who are these people that maybe I haven't talked to or I had a falling out with and that's the last time I talked to them. Because what's going to happen is if you do not make amends, you will constantly have that in the back of your mind and your subconscious and this will be taking a toll on their life and your daily actions that you have. So forgiving those people, forgiving yourself and just going in and fully making amends with those people, calling them, making sure that everything is okay and that you do truly feel for that person. This is just going to help free yourself, help free your mind, help give you clarity in this world so that if something, God forbid, does happen to them, you aren't going to regret not talking to them. And with that comes the 10th simple action, which is forgiving yourself. We go through this life, we go through this time where we're constantly in a rush, we're constantly trying to do these things, we're trying to change the world in a way in which really and truly you're not going to be able to do. And so understanding that all of these things that we're doing is failing so that we can be better, that gives you this sense of peace. It gives you this tranquility that allows you to forgive yourself for the things that you may have done in the past, the things that are not setting your future up for greatness. That's okay, you're not supposed to. None of us are supposed to. That's what it is about life and living this life as a human being is we need to fail. We need to do things that do not align with our trajectory and the way that things should be because that's how we live as human beings. It's okay. Truly, write down that you forgive yourself for all the many things. Write down all of the bad things that you have done in your life and then fully forgive yourself for every one of those things. Because if you don't, you will regret all of those actions, all of those things that you've done in your past, and it's going to set your future up for misery. And ultimately, you won't get out of this life. The opportunity and the potential that you had would be diminished. Start living in the moment, forgive yourself. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna see something else that can help you boost your life and get you to the next level, go ahead and click this video right here.